Hello and welcome to the Anxiety BC website and to this special interview on specific phobia. I'm Dr. Michael Catchpole and my guest is Dr. Rami Nader. Dr. Nader is a registered psychologist at the North Shore Stress and Anxiety Clinic in North Vancouver, British Columbia. Dr. Nader, thanks so much for doing this. You're welcome. It's nice to be here. Dr. Nader, can you tell us what specific phobia is? What does this term mean? Specific phobias are actually pretty easy to understand because most of us have things that we're afraid of or things that make us uncomfortable. What happens though with a specific phobia is that fear becomes intense or excessive and causes the person a considerable amount of distress or discomfort or interference in their life. Okay, so there's a large physical unpleasantness to this and also thoughts accompany this as well? Absolutely. So a person coming into contact with what it is that they're afraid of may notice that their heart starts racing and, and their muscles get really tense and they feel that they have to escape the situation or run away. And when you say interference in their life, I mean, I would, uh, for example, they might not be able to go camping if they're afraid of bugs or they might not. So it's really quite impairing or not fly to see a loved one. Absolutely. So in terms of the fear of flying that you just mentioned, it could interfere with a person's job prospects. They only take jobs that don't require them to travel. Okay. Now, what can people do to help themselves? Well, in order to understand the best way of managing a specific phobia, I think you need to understand the main factor that tends to maintain it. And the main factor that tends to maintain a specific phobia is avoidance, which is the most natural response if something is uncomfortable or causes us distress. It's only natural to want to escape or avoid it. But this avoidance tends to maintain the fear in the long run and tends to maintain some of our maladaptive beliefs about the dangerousness of what it is that we are afraid of. Okay, so the scary thing is you are going to have to face up to this, but there's a process by which one does that, correct? Absolutely. You want to do this in slow, graduated steps. So, for example, if I were afraid of dogs, the first step may be to go to the library and get a picture book about dogs and repeatedly look at pictures of dogs over and over again until looking at pictures no longer causes me any distress or discomfort. And then next? The next step would be something like getting a video about dogs and watching the videos again and again and again until watching videos about dogs no longer causes you any distress or discomfort. And then I guess you've got to move up to real dogs, what, maybe starting with puppies you look at through windows or something? or Absolutely. You'll start eventually introducing actual dogs as you do more and more of the exposure. So you may start with smaller dogs and eventually working up to bigger dogs or the dogs that you're particularly afraid of. Now, people will worry that, you know, in, while they do this, their anxiety is going to increase and they're going to go crazy or it's going to be overwhelming or whatever. But, but what would you say to that? Anxiety will increase as you do this, but that's kind of the point. Your anxiety will go up, but it won't keep going up forever. Eventually, it will plateau and just go away by itself without you having to do anything. Okay. Anything else you wanted to add? Other things that you can think of in terms of overcoming your fears involve challenging some of your thoughts about what it is that you're afraid of. And this will be a sort of a byproduct of what happens with the exposure. As you do more and more of the exposure, what ends up happening is you begin to think differently about what it is that you're afraid of. Very interesting. Is relaxation part of this? Relaxation can be a part of overcoming specific phobias. So for example, if I was afraid of traveling on an airplane, I may want to learn some relaxation skills like deep breathing or muscle relaxation as a way of preparing myself as I'm waiting for the plane to arrive. Very helpful. Dr. Nader, thank you so much for this. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. My guest has been Dr. Rami Nader from the North Shore Stress and Anxiety Clinic.